life is a battleground but not a battleground alone life is a race but it's not a race alone life is a gift that must be cherished and protected So in my preparing for life and destiny, if I find God training me like a warrior, I don't feel I'm losing because there is a place for that training. There is a point where God will suddenly change your training. Listen carefully. And you find out that in a strange way, the training has switched. But you still want the training of a warrior alone. And God says, remove all your warrior garments. Why are you on the shorts of a runner, an athlete? God, I thought I'm going to be fighting all my life. And then there are times you would come for training. And the only training you will receive is how to keep things. And you'll be wondering, God, I should be fighting. There are many people, because you do not know this dynamism, you have refused to attend certain classes in the spirit. Listen carefully. And it is about to become catastrophe in your life. A mighty warrior is only relevant when he is in the battlefield. When a warrior gets to an, a, a stadium to run, that warrior can be a disaster. Because the requirement for being a good athlete is speed, agility, not just, the, not just being a warrior. Are we together? So this upfront is a message for you. Respect and discern and believe the various forms of spiritual training that God is subjecting you to. Are we together? There are some of you, when you see God training others as athletes, you want to leave the battleground and just go and change your regalia. And God is saying, remain there. The amount of time it takes to train a military officer it's not the same amount of time it takes someone to run. Is that true? There are people without any training, they could run and win. But it's impossible to shoot and shoot excellently without a training. There are people who naturally, they can keep secrets. They can stomach things and keep it there. But there are people who have to be trained. My call for you tonight, listen to me. These three groups of people are scattered within this congregation this night. As you are listening to me, although everybody is listening to the same thing, it is not the same thing the Holy Ghost is doing. There are some people, through this teaching, you are receiving the training of a warrior. Make sure you discern. There are people you are receiving the training of an athlete. There are people you are receiving a training of one who needs to know how to protect what is given to him. God, by this training, week in, week out, for some of you, you have not even started the training of a warrior. He decided to start with you on how to keep. So every time you see people praying the prayer of a warrior, you laugh. Because the level of your own training is just to protect you. Don't worry, keep the class going. Eventually. So don't be surprised. God has never told you to fast for 40 days. He has never told you to pray. It doesn't mean he won't say it. You are still in another training that does not necessitate those equipments. You will get to a point in life. For some of you, the reason why God did not start with the training of a warrior is because you had the privilege of being close to a warrior. So there are battles you didn't need to fight. Somebody else's victory, you are still enjoying it. But make no mistakes about it. There is a battle with your name on it. I have fought, I have finished, I have kept. If you fight alone, your race is incomplete.